Singapore's plans for greater food self-sufficiency, increasing domestic food production. Singapore's target is to produce 30% of food locally by 2030. As the current proportion is less than 10%, there is much that needs to be done. Singapore has attempted to promote uptake of indoor growing technologies given our limited space to work with, which includes hydroponics, vertical farming, and data analytics to optimize food production. Our efforts have attracted investors and innovators both within and outside of Singapore. More firms are setting up or expanding operations here, reinforcing our status as an agri-food tech and innovation hub. The next stage for Singapore's agri-food strategy is to advance, accelerate and access. This means that the government will advance products and capabilities through research and development. For example, Singapore-based Sophie's Bionutrients is collaborating with the Singapore Institute of Food and Biotechnology Innovations to develop edible microalgae as a source of protein. The institute was established by the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, ASTA, in 2019 to boost innovation in novel foods and ingredients to further local production capabilities, satisfying the global appetite for safer, healthier and sustainable foodstuffs. The Singapore Food Agency and Enterprise Singapore also published a guidebook on how to start a land-based farm in Singapore. Tamasic, Singapore's state investor, has additionally partnered up with ASTAR to create the Food Tech Innovation Center with the goal of accelerating commercialization of food tech. Their first joint project will be to produce plant-based and milk proteins. The Food Tech Innovation Center will also assist firms that wish to pilot production of novel foodstuffs before going commercial. As of now, Tamasic holds a portfolio of more than 40 agri-food Food companies, though most are European and North American. Significance of the agri-food push Earth's population is projected to hit 9.8 billion by 2050 from 7.7 .7 billion now, necessitating an increase of 40% in global food production. As agriculture is traditionally land-intensive and polluting, innovative technologies such as vertical farming, automation and alternative methods of protein uh, production will be crucial in reducing the strain on Earth's resources. Singapore will not only stand to gain business opportunities and improve food security, but also do its part to save the planet.